In the ever-evolving world of electric vehicles, there's a name that's been making waves, and it's not Tesla or NEO. It's Xping Incorporated. With a myriad of ratings from top brokerages, the stock's future seems to be on everyone's radar. But what's the real story behind these ratings? Let's dive deep and uncover the potential impacts on Xping's stock price. All right, let's take a look at the news. Xping Incorporated, trading under the ticker NYSE, XPV, has recently been the subject of much discussion among 13 brokerages. The consensus? A rating of hold. Breaking it down, four analysts have labeled the stock as a sell, five have settled on a hold, and four have given it a promising buy recommendation. The average 12 month price target set by these brokers over the past year stands at $14.58. Now, this might seem straightforward, but let's delve into the nuances. Recent research reports have shown a mix of opinions. UBS Group, for instance, downgraded Xping from a buy to a neutral rating. JP Morgan Chase and Company, on the other hand, upgraded it from underweight to neutral. Barclays took a more bearish stance, downgrading the stock from equal weight to underweight, and even adjusted their price target from $8 to a mere $6. Bauckham International also downgraded Xping, but HSBC took a bullish turn, upgrading the stock from hold to buy, with an ambitious price target of $22. Institutional investors, the big players in the stock market, have also been active. Equitable Holdings Incorporated upped its position by 6.8% in the second quarter, while the Royal Bank of Canada increased its stake by 13.1%. Other notable buyers include Booth Bay Fund Management LLC and Tower Research Capital LLC. Now let's talk numbers. Xping stock opened at $16.13 on a recent Wednesday. It's been showing a positive trend with a 50-day moving average of $14.37 and a 200-day moving average of $11.24. With a market capitalization of $13.90 billion, Xping is no small player. However, their recent earnings per share reported a loss of $0.40, cents, slightly missing analysts' consensus estimate of $0.34. Cents. Their revenue for the same period was a substantial $587.31 million. Xping's core business is the design, development, manufacturing, and marketing of smart electric vehicles in China. Their diverse range of vehicles, from SUVs to family sedans, positions them well in the competitive EV market. The services they offer, from sales contracts to technical support, make them a comprehensive player in the industry. Given the global shift towards sustainable transportation and China's aggressive push for EV adoption, Xping is well-placed to capitalize on this trend. The mixed analyst ratings, while indicating uncertainty, also show that there's potential for growth, especially if Xping continues to innovate and capture market share. Now, let's discuss the upcoming trading session surge signals for Xping stock. The upward surge signals are $16.20, $16.57, and $17.01. On the flip side, the downward signals are $15.39, $14.95, and $14.58. But what do these numbers mean? These surge signals represent potential turning points for the stock. If the stock price approaches or breaches these levels, it could confirm a directional move. For instance, if Xping stock price crosses $16.20 and continues to rise, reaching $16.57 or even $17.01 could confirm a bullish trend. Conversely, if the stock drops below $15.39, further declines to $14.95 or $14.58 might be on the horizon. It's crucial for traders to watch these levels closely. They act as psychological barriers and can influence trading decisions. If the stock reacts positively to the news discussed earlier, we might see it pushing towards the upper surge signals. However, any negative sentiment could drive it towards the lower levels. That wraps up our deep dive into Xping Incorporated and its stock potential. If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth stock discussions. And here's a question for you. 
How do you think the EV market in China will shape up in the next five years? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get the conversation going.